hi welcome back to my channel today we are reviewing blue moon palette by ColourPop uh, this is a first impressions try on review of the palette so I have not tried it yet there it is there's all the pretty colors so we will see if we can um, create something fun now I did go ahead and prime my face and all that jazz and get it ready to go and my eyes because my my skin is being weird again today um, I don't know lately it's just it's kind of it's kind of just not been good but yeah whatever so let's go ahead and get into this I think I am going to cover my eyes with moonlight right here you see that? Does that look a little patchy? I don't know if it's my eyes, but like, you know, like I did the Just My Luck palette and it was smooth. It went on great. And then uh, the last one I went, the Orangey Glide, it kind of looked patchy, but my skin's funky right now. So I don't know if it's these palettes or if it's my eyes. I mean, the color is vibrant. It goes on, but like having to reapply to get it the look I want kind of bothers me but maybe it's just my eyes I don't know I think I want to go with the inner corners with um, this one right here Billie Jean and there is no real method to this I'm just really just trying to try this out and see if how much I like it and I'm gonna go in with tide pull there tide pull right there Okay, see now the colors are going on more smoothly and I feel better about it, so maybe maybe it was just that one shadow. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Mad About You, this color right here. Okay, so I think for dimension's sake, I'm gonna go with clue it in into the corners. Cause uh, I want more dimension than that. It's not bad, I just that's just what I like. I am looking at this. I'm gonna take this color right here, Lu Luna, Luna. It's not Luna because it ends with an I, so it's Lu Lumi right here. I'm gonna do in the upper corners there and see what I can make it do. I actually really don't mind it like this. I think I think I'm gonna take that white though and put it in the bottom part too. Okay, so let's go in with some more blue for the bottom part. Um, I have used all of them except for um, these three here. This one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to try to do that with the bottom part and see if I can make that into something. Okay, so I'm going in with starry-eyed in the inner quarters of the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to try this Da Ba D blue right here. Clearly that must be a reference of a song. Okay, so now I'm going to try that fine china color for the outer bottom part. There's the blue. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes now and we'll go from there. So the first liner I am using is... This one right here, it is Prance? Yeah, Prance, that's what it is. And that's what it looks like right there. So that is going on my face. All right, there is the bottom liner. I think now we are going to go in, we are going to go in with this blue liner here and this one is called, I still think this is an abbreviation for the word crazy. It's K-R-Z-Y. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and line with this. All right, so there is the liner that is um, a little different than I was expecting it to look, but it's okay. Um, I guess now we will go into the mascara. So um, I have the blue one here, but before I do that, I am going to go in with the Grande Primer for my bottom lashes, so yeah. All right, so bottom lashes are primed. I'm going to go in with the, um, what color is this? Sky High, did I do that right? Yeah, there we go. Sky High Mascara, and that is very blue. 
All right, there is the blue on the bottom lashes. And I don't have a um, black mascara by ColourPop. I know they do make one, I just don't have one. So I'm using one of the sam many samples that I have gotten in one of my beauty boxes. So for those of you that don't think I use them up, I absolutely use them up. And if it's something that I'm not gonna use up, I give it to somebody who will. So the um, black mascara that I am using is by Benefits called Their Real. And I really do like this mascara, so that is the one I'm using. All right, there is the mascara, you see that? So I think I am going to do the blush and the highlighter with the ColourPop colors that I have. The blush color that I have is called Under Pressure, and this is a peach color. See that? There you go. All right, now for the highlight color, we are using Bullseye, and that is this color right here. Trust me, the highlight is there, you can't really see it, especially with my lighting, but it's there, it's pretty. Um, so now I gotta find a lip color and I'll be right back. All right, so I have picked out a gloss and I am going to be using Steph, this one right here, because it's very close. I mean, I have some lipstick colors, but like when my eyes are heavy and dark like that, I like to do something light for my lips or if my lips are dark I prefer to do light eyes because I, I kind of feel like it balances out like when you have dark lips and dark eyes it just looks like a lot of makeup um, and this this looks like a lot of makeup and it is a lot of makeup so it's kind of like why would I want it to look even more so but anyways that's just me so I'm gonna use this one there's that and some setting spray and the setting spray I am using is Tarte Reinforced of the Sea. That's what it looks like. And there's the final look. Um, it's really blue. I don't know how I feel about that, but um, let's talk about the palette a little bit now that I've tried it out. Um, the These two colors right here, um, the Moonlight and the Starry Eye came out kind of patchy for me, which was kind of disappointing. Um, I did put those down as the first two colors and my eyes are kind of dry, so that might have played into it some, but I just think the light colors in this palette aren't really that great. But I do like the other colors in this palette. I think they're really good. I really, really like them. The shiny blues are just really pretty and um, that's kind of all I can say about it. So. Other than the colors, let's talk about the fallout. Now, I did experience some fallout with some with with, with the um. Let's try that again. So I experienced some fallout in this palette. Was it a lot? Not really. I think the um, Orange and Glad pa palette had a lot more fallout with the than this one. So I don't think the fallout was bad in this one at all. Did I have to dip the brush more than once to put the color on? Yes. So they are highly pigmented, but it's it's not like, you know, you dip it once or twice and then you're done. You might have to, you know, do more than that. But other than that, I really do like these blues in this palette. And if you like this and you want to get yourself one of these, I will have a link below where you can go ahead and get yourself some. Um, that is it. That is all I have. And I will see you next time.